Hi everyone, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Well wishes to you and your family and I hope you're keeping yourself always safe. Today I'm sharing with you another DIY face mask tutorial that I made from denim jeans. Denim material is known to be very effective as a material and as a protective covering for the face covering the nose and the mouth. People have choices on face mask material, but I still believe that making your own is still the best way to fit your needs in terms of protection. Last year, I painted my denim dress, had a video in my other channel. I will provide the link in the description box and comment section for that. That's how I got my inspiration for this DIY denim face mask video. At times when we are in a difficult situation, we need to save money and use what we have in our household like items like old clothing for sustainability. So for this denim face mask, we need to cut two rectangular fabrics, one denim for the front and also a cotton material. And I chose to pick a printed cotton material and I'm going to use the middle part of this fabric where the stitches are because I want it right on the nose part so we need a length of eight and a half inches with is five inches for this project and if you don't know how to hand sew you can always use a fabric glue you always have the option to either use a fabric glue, hand sew it, or use the sewing machine. And guys, you can always cut the fabric out from a different side of this material. You don't have to uh, make it at the center. You can use the other side where there are no stitches. It's really up to you. I got this really nice... Um, cotton material with pink roses so that's what i'm going to use for my back layer the next step is to teach you how to fabric paint i'm going to show you the simplest way to fabric paint on a denim material not as a fine artist but as a regular person who haven't tried painting so for painting, I'm using a fabric paint that is very inexpensive, which I got from the Michael store. I use different flat brushes it's like um, different sizes and one brush for fine details I will put the materials in the description box of this video so I squirted white and pink I dabbed and pushed the brush in between the two colors and just started painting the petals I'm not using a floating medium for this project. I did two double coats and petal strokes using a big flat paintbrush.
to make the petals float you can do several coatings you can use a smaller flat brush to make the petals in the middle and lastly you can make white swirly strokes to define your petals using a fine and detailed brush just two coatings first i started with light green and then for the outline and the details i use a darker green color So guys, I hope showing you how I made it will help you with your fabric painting. So I'm making two sets of face masks for you. And I hope you'll keep on watching. You can let your fabric paint dry for 24 hours and then start making your mask. First, you would need two 7 inches long elastics. Put your cotton material over your denim fabric and put it together using pins put one end of your elastic at the top corner and then also at the lower bottom corner use a pin to put it together and do the same thing on the other side make sure the elastics are secured after placing the elastics you will then start sewing you can use either a running stitch or a back stitch Sew the fabrics together by doing a backstitch from the top to the bottom across the other side corner and to the top corner. And reaching each corner, make sure you secure the elastics by stitching several loops and making sure that the elastic is sewn on the fabric. Leave the top part of the fabric open so you can use it to add some protection and you can insert a filter in between. I think a filter is optional because you're already using two layers of fabric.
When you're done stitching, turn the fabric inside and out. As conform to your face, you need to fold the center of the fabric of the face mask and stitch the sides together so you start making about four to five loops to stitch them together and do the same thing on the other side guys the front has tucks on each side and I created a pocket if you need to put in a filter you can always put a pipe cleaner and sew it in if you want a nose bridge but that's optional and second face mask I showed you how I painted it earlier it's gonna be using the same method except that we're gonna use the sewing machine and we're going to put two to three pin tucks there are some people who have sewing machines and prefer to use the sewing machine for durability and for a higher quality face mask so you can use this procedure you can use the same elastics place it on each side corner use pins to attach the fabrics together I'm putting some line here so I would know where to as a guide when I'm using my sewing machine and the same thing the top you don't have to sew it on the top because you need to leave an opening for your filter in case you want to insert a filter the tux I'm adding here on each side is just to help the denim material to conform to your face since the denim material is a thicker material compared to other cotton material so you can sew from the top going down to the bottom and across on each corner and you can backstitch each corner to secure the elastics so guys i hope you find this diy video tutorial helpful please remember to subscribe and turn on the notification so i'll see you next time thank you so much for watching